Hello Virgo. Uh, this is your May 2022 love guidance. Apologies, it's a bit late. Hopefully it still applies and it resonates for you. Um, this is going to be for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising signs. We will be looking into your love situation in the month of May. We're going to look into your person's energy and we are going to get some Oracle guidance for you. So we're going to start by getting um, three cards to kind of determine what is the current energy for Virgo at this time. Okay, so what's your story, Virgo? What's going on with you? What are you going to have to contend with in the month of May? Ooh, King of Swords energy. Okay. Five of Pentacles. You can see that. And Virgo. Five of Cups in reverse. Virgo, I feel like this is you. You don't seem to be doing too well, Virgo. Um, we've got the Eight of Wands in reverse. Uh, well, Virgo, off the bat, I kind of see that you are coming from the mental um, space, you know, headspace. You're coming from headspace, not heart space at this time. But I do see you dealing with a disappointment, a loss maybe, definitely a loss, and also a lot of sadness and disappointment. There's something here about how it's a very tough time for you right now, but I do think... I do think that with the King of Swords in the upright, you feel that this is the right thing to be happening. Um, could be because there's no action or communication. Um, let's see. Let's see what this King of Swords energy is about. Wow. Well, uh, Virgo, <laughs> what is this energy you're showing me? Oh, now I see. <laughs> okay. And there's that five of pentacles, right? Extreme sadness. I'm going to have to say it's extreme sadness, extreme disappointment, but it's all because of, I feel, a nine of pentacles. So Virgo, you're really showing up um, as a king of swords right now. Um, I do feel you're trying to decide if you should take a leap of faith, but I do also feel that with the seven of swords, If you take this action, I don't know. I don't think you're ready is what I'm going to say because you're carrying the Seven of Swords energy of not wanting to be honest, not wanting to be transparent. You know, you may have a good intentions. You may have the sincerity, but without transparency and honesty, this isn't going to work, whatever this is that you want. Okay. Um, let's see what the Five of Pentacles is about. It's coming up twice. That means it's like extreme sadness like oh and i mean it you oh, virgo you could just really be going through it right now like this is mentally emotionally even money maybe maybe your abundance is being affected at this time wow you're going through it um i do see a 10 of pentacles with the king of pentacles in reverse with the five of pentacles that's a lot of stress virgo um i feel like there's a lot of expectation coming from you. I feel like a lot of people are relying on you and all at the same time is you're heartbroken. Um, and that's why the stress is quite doubled for you here. Oh man, Virgo, what happened? Um, let's see what the five of cups is about because this is a loss. You, you, you've experienced some kind of loss and I feel like you're having a hard time getting over it. There's a two of pentacles. Um, let's get two more cards to see what this is about with the high priestess. There you are, Virgo. With the Hermit, Virgo. Wow. All of your energy is right there. Right now, you are... There's a sadness about you, Virgo. You're, you're heartbroken. You feel like you've lost something here. But at the same time, with the High Priestess... You know, I think you feel that if this is what is happening, it's because that's what's supposed to happen. I kind of feel like you're not wanting to do anything to change it. I don't know why you, anyone would want to be in this energy, but it's kind of telling me either you feel you deserve this, this hardship, 
or you're willing to take this hardship. I, I can't quite tell. Um, the Hermit in Reverse is telling me that you've done a lot of thinking, but really at this time, I feel like you've withdrawn from a lot of people. It's a very sad energy, Virgo. I, I feel really sad. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, let's try to see your person's energy, okay? Because I feel like you have so much love for someone. You really want to, to take a leap of faith here with this person, but you feel so compounded with, I don't know, responsibilities. You know, you're dealing with losses. I feel like there's like some kind of financial loss here too. So that's adding to it as well. But let's see, what is your person's energy? How are they doing at this time? Your person may be hiding their true feelings. Um, so however way you're perceiving your person at this time, that may not be actually what's going on. So let's say they look sad, they may be happy, or they may look great, but they may be sad. I mean, it's not, whatever you're seeing is not actually what's happening, okay? And social media can be tricky anyway, so look at that, mirroring. Okay, I mean, that's pretty clear, Virgo. Whoever you are dealing with, you guys are both feeling this heartbreak. You guys are both feeling the loss. You both are missing each other. You may be perceiving this person to be doing great, okay? But they're they're mirroring you. You guys are both going through whatever this is, this heartbreak that you have here. One more card. Let's see, one more card energy. Okay, so there is going to be a revelation. There's going to be clarity and truth here. I feel like you guys will find out somehow, some way you will find out that. And look at the contrast of these cards. I love how from grays to that vibrant blue and red, things will come to light here, Virgo. One way or another, you guys will find out the truth. How you are both feeling, you know, about each other. And it's... It's really powerful. It's just very sad. Um, let's see what the, the tarot card guidance is. I'd, I'd love to know what the tarot card guidance is for this. Yeah, I feel like action is not being taken, but I do feel like someone is preparing. And maybe that is you, Virgo. I think, you know, with that King of Swords energy, I think you may be trying to prepare for something. You're just not quite ready. Yeah, you're not quite ready because you're still in that King of Pentacles energy dealing with something. And I feel like it's a loss. I'm really concentrated on the coin. I feel like maybe you lost money. Maybe you invested in something and it didn't work out. Or maybe there's just been an adjustment in your money somehow that, you know, it's, it's creating difficulty. But definitely you're not able to take action because your concentration is on that. Um... I do see, Virgo, that, you know, you feel kind of apprehensive about the connection, as strong as it is. There's something here about you're kind of, you want it, but you're kind of scared, maybe. Um, he goes that you guys are both watching each other. You're marrying each other here. You're watching each other from afar. So this could be social media, like you're trying, you're checking up on each other, or maybe you see each other somewhere and you know you're kind of peeking at each other i don't know whatever this is it's kind of cute though but you guys are definitely watching what the other person is doing okay now i i am seeing that something is not being explored at this time because somebody just has too much to deal with and i feel like that might be you virgo with everything that i'm seeing in your energy i feel like you're trying to find a balance with everything and right now love has taken a back seat this connection has taken a back seat I don't think it's lessened the importance, but, you know, the reality of things, I feel like this isn't something that you can put energy towards at this time, right? And definitely, you know, things are just too difficult right now to come back. Like, you want to come back to this person or you want to go towards this person, but you're having difficulty because you've got like a big roadblock right here, right? So, I am going to say that um, this happiness is still attainable. It's just that there are issues that need to be fixed here. And that could be on your side, on their side, both sides. I really feel like, Virgo, you need to gain a sense of independence. I don't know what your situation is, Virgo, but you're needing your independence. You're needing space. You're needing to be able to rely on yourself. I feel like a lot of people are just kind of surrounding you and hounding you, you know? 
I just feel like you're so burdened by a lot of things. And right now, I mean, you could already be in a connection, you know, maybe that's crumbling down. I'm seeing the three of pentacles with the tower here. Um, I do feel like you're stressing about a situation too much. You're not listening to your intuition about whatever this situation is. I feel that it's about the connection. Like you're stressing about it so much. But if you listen to your intuition, I think it's going to tell you there's no need to stress about it, okay? Um, at this time, Virgo, I feel like you're not able to really express your love. I feel like you, you're decided, you're determined to do that. I just don't think it's the right time for you. I feel like you're dealing with a lot of things right now. Um, let's get some guidance for you, Virgo. Uh, what kind of guidance do you need at this time? You seem to be going through a lot. <laughs> I mean, compounded, you know, like five of pentacles on top of five of, five of pentacles. That's just a lot of, of things to deal with. It's a lot of sadness too, and it's a lot of difficulty. So let's see what kind of guidance you can get here. I think Taurus got the same thing. Celebrate yourself. You deserve it. You know what, Virgo? If you need time to yourself, take it. If you need time to relax, take it. You know, if you need time to do some self-care, take it. You're not going to be selfish if you do that, okay? <laughs> Turn lemons into lessons. So I feel like with the, that Five of Pentacles energy is very strong of just a lot of difficulty. And right now you may be looking at everything as kind of hitting you and just kind of, you know, like, <laughs> like a wrestling match. Like you're just really being... <laughs> um, but I think you're going to need to look at it in a different way, you know, try to gain a new perspective as to why these things are happening and, and kind of, you know, Virgos, you guys are very practical. So I think maybe try to look at it a way as it's just a puzzle, a puzzle of pieces that you need to put together. Some pieces are just a bit hard to find or put together, but eventually it all falls into place. Okay. You need to kind of gain that kind of perspective to be able to, you know, know that eventually that puzzle is going to be built it's going to be whole and it's going to be the way that it's supposed to be okay so let's let more let's see if you have more oracle guidance it does say that um today holds unlimited possibilities to see the beauty in life and i know that's a difficult right now at this time especially for you virgo with everything you're going through but remember tomorrow's a new day Tomorrow's a new day for new chances, new experiences, new opportunities. And every day we're, we're blessed to try to figure out another day, you know, another chapter. What can I do about today that's going to make my life better? Okay, so hopefully this was helpful, Virgo. I know it's a bit of a heavy read for the month of May. I feel like you're going really going through it, but you're going to get through this. Okay, and I'll see you next month.